Open source intelligence. It plays a crucial role in gathering insights about potential threats or just people in general. It's often used to find more in-depth information than what the average person can see or find online. And in this video, we'll be going through some awesome tools to help you find hidden email information. The framework we'll be using to review the OSINT tools today is OSINT Map by Malfra, which you can see on the screen. It was sent over to me by Techno Cheesecake in our Discord, so thank you to him and big shout out. But also a big shout out to the creators of this OSINT map, which you can see on the screen and I definitely recommend that you check them out. So I've previously used OSINT Framework to review tools, which was the original project for OSINT mapping. But it hasn't been updated for a while, so this is basically being created off the back of that with new updated tools. So now that you have all the context and the backstory, let's jump straight into the OSINT map. So you can see straight away all the list of categories that you have on screen. And as an example, you have different ones like companies, cryptocurrencies, data lookup, domains, email addresses, images, IP address. So you can find a whole host of information. And when you click into these, it also dives deeper into further categories or specific tools. Just as an example, we'll click into domains and straight away you can see different ones. And very usefully, they've actually given a legend where you can see how each category is broken down by an emoji. So for example, if you see the box emoji, you know that that means that this tool requires installation. Whereas if you're looking for something more web-based, you can just look for the earth emoji. So that's really, really useful and you don't have to click into them and then have to keep coming back if you're only looking for something web-based. So just another example, you can see a lot of required installation ones here. And in phone numbers, you can see three different types of tools for a guide, an installation and a web-based one. So I highly recommend that you go through this and just see if you can find anything that you're interested in. But we will be reviewing three email OSINT tools today. So let's get straight into it. First off, we have starting us off is EPOS. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's a tool that's basically described as an OSINT tool for email and phone reverse lookup. If we jump into their about section, you can see that they were founded by a cybersecurity specialist who has over 10 years of experience in the field. So it's definitely a tool that you know you'll get some good information out of as it has an expert backing it. If we just jump into their pricing and plans, you can see they have a free member plan at zero per month. And you also have other OSINTER and custom plans at more expensive. So if it is something that you're interested in, you can jump into higher plans. But for now, obviously, we'll be using the free version. And as I mentioned, they also have an email as well as a phone lookup option. So if that's something that you're interested in, then you can give that a go. But for this one, we'll be using the email just as an example. We'll type in test at gmail.com and see what type of information that we get back. And now that we've been populated with our results, we can see straight away that six results have come up within three seconds and that will st slowly start populating more and more. And we can also see a breakdown of data breaches that this email has been involved on. And you can see a number of 429 and we can scroll through these and get, ex get exact dates on where these data breaches occurred. So that's some really useful information if you want to go diving for breached passwords. And then you can see this has now gone to seven results in 25 seconds and you can choose to download this as a JSON format or in a CSV. So really useful there for getting some information on that email domain. Go check that out with the link in the description and give your email a check to see what information you get back. That covers this tool. So now let's move on to the next tool we have here, which is Holhi. This tool essentially allows you to check if the email is used on different sites like Twitter, Instagram, and it will retrieve information on those sites, basically using the forgotten password function. Now I have linked this down below, so you can give it a go yourself as well. But in summary, it retrieves the information from the forgotten password function, but it also does not target the email that you're using it for. And it runs on Python 3. And when you visit the link, you'll be given the installation instructions with GitHub, with Docker, and then also a quick start guide. So you can see also examples of the exporting information that you'll get and then also a video run through of exactly how you will receive that information when you run the Python script. So you can see all that populating on the screen here when they've run that and it's a whole host of information that's given back. Then they've also given a module output so you can see exactly what the information means, whether it's rate limit, 
exists, email recovery, phone number, and any other extra information. And it's just saying that if you have a rate limit, you can basically just change your IP to get around that. So hopefully that's useful for you and I definitely recommend that you check it out. The final tool we then have is Mailcat. Now this tool will help you find existing email addresses by nickname using API checking methods without user notification. So again, like the previous tool we just checked, it won't notify the user of the activity that you're conducting. And all you need to do is use a nickname. And when you visit the link, you'll have some usage instructions and how to run the script exactly. We also have supported providers and there are over 37 providers, over 170 domains and over 100 aliases. So lots of information there. And you can just see scrolling through this, all the ones that are available. And if you do get stuck, they also have some troubleshooting tips that you can look into. So click the link and run the script and see how that works out for whatever your use case is. If you're interested in learning more about OSINT tools or you're just interested in cybersecurity in general, do join our Discord. We're always talking about either OSINT tools or just cybersecurity tips to help people further their careers in the field. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. It massively helps the video out and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content and I'll keep reviewing more OSINT tools.